Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3, AC3. <clears throat> Today I'm doing paid review 9N50. This is a paid review that I've been kind of sitting on because he sent me fucking war and peace. Fuck me dead. <coughs> war, peace, and even more. Um, okay, he goes, hi Arch, this is for Chris. 9N50, quick whisk, 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 watch, check. I'm wearing a JJ Lecout, Jega Lecoutre. Reverse Grand Date. This is one of my favorite reversos of all time. Ah, uh, this is my Beta Sports Watch. Beta, Beta Sports Watch. Hi Arch, please do a paid review for me. I've sent you $55, blah, 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 blah. I will include the email below, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for getting back to me, Chris. What happened? Oh, I couldn't find the fucking thing. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, so this, this is, okay. Fair enough, I found it now, Chris. Thank you. Hi, Archie slash Paul. I've been watching your channel regularly since 2013, and I'm a huge fan. Send you 55 bucks via PayPal. I'll try to avoid a war and peace. Yes, I know, you fucking did. I'll try and avoid a war and peace length email, so bear with me. Okay, get to the point. The Pontiff has basically taught me everything, and I especially fond of the early days of the Paul Pluto Prestige channel. Thank you, thank you. Actually, it's not a bad comment. Yes, thank you. When you reviewed and ranked watches by points, I found many of your older videos hilarious and educational. I've kept up with your YouTube content ever since. A bit about me, I'm 35 year old Y-Gen turd who lives in Southeast Alaska. Wow. And works a low to mid paying public sector office job. I've worked in my current job for 10 years. I'm determined, I determined long time, long ago that marriage and children were a financial scam and intentionally avoided both. As a result of that decision, I'm completely debt free and I have ultimate freedom for putting money away for the things I want in life and for a comfortable retirement down the road. I first got into watches in 2009 when I was finishing my college and bought my first automatic watch, which was a plastic swatch with non-serviceable movement. From 2009 to 15, I wore that watch and a couple other swatch, 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 quartz chronographs. Uh, they were all that I could afford. I sold all the shitters in late 2015. I didn't wear a watch again until 2018. As I needed to keep saving and planning, eventually buy a decent watch. Then I bought a Seiko SNK 809 in early 2018 for 75 bucks. To get back into the hobby, blah, 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 blah. I don't know the point of all this here, okay? First year, I finally got out and waited. Come on, get to the point. He bought a, an Amiga Speedmaster Professional. Men on the fucking moon, numerous reference. I bought my Speedy back in May on Chrono from a grey market dealer. <clears throat> Five-year Amiga warranty, all the big box goodies. 4200 okay, 4200 This is my primary no-compromise watch, and I love it to death as it always reminds me of my hard work, diligent saving, and your ability to write long fucking emails. Okay, I adore the manual winding. Yes, it's ritual. 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 Uh, reminds me, okay, blah, 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 blah. He likes the house of light glass, gorgeous style, no date function, rich history, and supreme legibility of the hands. I strongly consider the first Omega. Yeah, I actually, I'm a bit of a fan for the first Omega in space. I quite do like it. I kind of think it's a little bit smaller. See, because I've got girly size paddocks. Girly size paddocks. It might fit in with my girly size paddock collection. So that's why I would consider the first Hermiga in space, but that's okay. But I didn't like that watch as it didn't come on a bracelet and it has the non standard 19mm lug width. Yes. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. And the polished hands were not nearly as eligible as the stick ones. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we don't need to go through every fucking point here. I felt it was a bit of a compromise. Okay, okay. Oh, also ignored all the wanker soy boys there who say the 42 Meek Speedmaster is only suitable for people with big wrists. 
because he's got small wrist. Da, da, da. I also refuse to compromise and get it. Yeah, don't, the comp, the, the reduced sucks. The automatic one sucks. I love the Speedy so damn much and realized not long after I got it, I needed a second watch for a real two-piece combo meal deal hunger buster. Yes, sir. Now we're talking. For the second watch, I decided a pre-owned Rolex Explorer 1 114270 F serial number from 2004. Actually, my Explorer 2 was 2004. Good year. Uh, again, from Chrono 24. This time from Bricks and Mortar. I paid 5200 Yes. Factory box but no papers uh, still who cares that's not terrible uh, for which I know is a lot for a pre-owned Explorer but it seems the prices are going up blah 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 uh, absolutely love the 36 mil oyster case uh, I chose the 36 mil over the newer 39 mil 214270 yeah why did you do that because I like the proportions better and you also told me you got girly small wrists so that's fine Ah, uh, the purest choice, and it's kind of the purest, well, I tend to disagree with you. I think fatsos should go for the 39, and skinny fuckers and ladies can go for the 36. But, hey, let's not have that argument on the channel. I've loved, I've been loving the hell out of it since I got it last month. I can't believe I own a Rolex. The Rolex is cool. <coughs> the advice of the Pontiff was truly spot on. In recommending these two legendary and historic watches, I couldn't be happy. I wear both daily and swap back and forth between them regularly uh, at work and on weekends. Okay, okay, okay. This is I don't know what's so long for such a small kind of. Don't get this, but okay. These are the two watches are lifetime keepers. Good, and I have zero intention of selling. Okay, I know it's a bit pretty standard and boring collection for most. No, 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 no. But I think the Speedy and Explorer are. Uh, Perfect combo for me. I also still wear the Seiko 5. Forget it. Seiko 5 is garbage. Get rid of it. Give it to a friend. Give it to someone you work with. Thanks for the many years of watch buying advice, entertainment, rants, laughs, and general antics. I have learned a ton from watching your videos and appreciate your vast knowledge, watch move brands, movements, and industry insight. I am honestly very content with the Speedy and the Explorer. Good, 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 good. But I could possibly add a third. Wow. I was thinking of maybe a JLC Master Dress watch when I turned 40, or perhaps a Brigade Classic and Precious Metal. I'm not into divers or GMT, uh, and I honestly prefer chronos if I had a watch with a complication. I also really love manual wine pieces. Your thoughts or suggestions? Da 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 da. I don't want a massive collection. I think the Speedy and Explorer will cover all bases until I count what I count it in the foreseeable future. I've attached some photos. Sorry for the long email. Da 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 da. Your friend Chris. Well, thank you, Chris. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Chris, 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 Chris. I gotta be honest with you, man. You gotta live a bit. Gotta live a bit. Okay. My advice to you: when I add a third watch, it's simple. There is only one watch you need to buy. It's called a Patek Philippe. 5196. Uh, it's just manual wine paddock. It's absolutely fucking beautiful. You can get one of these 13 to 15,000 on the pre owned market. You buy that, never lose money. Uh, it's Yes, it's a dress watch. Yes, get a safe. Get a safe and a gun. That's what I would also buy. If you're in Alaska, there, it gets a bit shifty with some of the uh, unemployed. Um, unemployed um, just unemployed riffraff wandering around the city. Get a gun and a big safe. Uh, I'd, I'd get paddock, 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 paddock and pussy, paddock and pussy. Now, i got to tell you, man, I do love the advice. You have followed me. That's good. I do. I, myself, would have to say to you, i got to be honest with you, man. Pussy, pussy, pussy is important, okay? I don't want to be a monosexual. Monosexual is someone who self-helps. Uh, a bit of a wanker, if you know what I mean. Um, I think you'd... I'd love pussy. I love pussy. you got to have... That's why I got married. I wanted pussy. I wanted... I love pussy. I need pussy. For me to make these vids, I need... I need pussy, okay? i got to be honest with you. I don't want to be rude. I've been subbing it out a bit at times, but yet yeah, I still need the pussy. I need pussy. Need pussy. Need pussy. So i got to be honest with you, it's very cool to not be, you know, under the controls of a woman, but I do think pussy is a very important ingredient, you know. I, I honestly don't want to discourage you there. So so I'd be, um, 
yeah, just, just, just don't, 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 I don't want you not to have kids and to fucking be angry at me when you're 70 and say, Archie said this, well, pussy, 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 it's the survival of the human species there, so you might want to consider sperm donation, I think that would be a great thing, sperm donation, then you could make sure your hereditary continues on. Okay, let's talk about this, paddock, 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 I think you get a paddock, three piece, now I know you're a public servant, you don't like paddock because it's going to cause all the wrong things, don't worry about it, just fucking do it, okay, you're a conservative guy, just get a bank loan, get a paddock, and I think, please, just do it, do what I say, don't fucking argue with me, you sent me war and peace, please, just, just fucking do what I say, okay. The two-piece combo meal deal, i got to tell you, the uh, the Speedmaster Man on the Moon Professional, that's great watch, great watch, great, I can't fault it, and you've also got the Explorer 136 mil, perfect, add a dress paddock, that's it, three, done and dusted, get rid of that fucking Seiko, give that away to someone, uh, just, just, just get rid of the fucking thing, um, yeah, that's what I'd, get rid of the fucking thing, I gotta be honest with you, seriously, uh, JLC, very soft. If you wanna get a JLC, get a Reverso in steel. That's if you don't wanna spend paddock money. That's that's my quick, quick wristwatch, check watch. I'm wearing the JJ LeCoute Reverso Grande date, eight day power reserve, grand size. I think you could even put that on a small girly wrist. So I gotta be honest with you. Um, the Breguet, Breguet is a great watch. I think you're better off to get Paddock. If you're going to spend that much money, I know Breguet is soft on the pre-owned, particularly with the smaller reference Breguet, like the 35, 36 mil sort of size there. Breguet is actually a bargain. It's a bargain. Uh, I don't think Breguet is terrible, but I'd, seriously, choice one is Paddock. Paddock and Pussy, Paddock and Pussy, Paddock and Pussy. Um, I think that's nice. I get you. You're doing okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I would, would do that. Eskimo lovers, you know, they share mates. You do know that, don't you? Eskimo, just be careful when you go off hunting and they share mates in the igloos. You know, you know about that, don't you? You know, you know that, don't you? See, in the igloos, they don't necessarily faithful to one man. They kind of have a tribe. It's stay warm at night, the fur seals, you know, just, just, I'd come back first, don't go out, don't stay longer, come back in first and get the choice of the crop, you know, I think that's a better way, just be careful with those women folk out there, um, I gotta tell you man, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I think it's a great two piece combo meal deal, I don't think you'd probably get a paddock, because public servant is just, see winners think, Winners come up with ways to achieve things. Losers look, look, losers look for excuses not to do something. So I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope you come through. But let's just see how it goes. Look, I think you got a good, steady collection. You're doing well. I'm proud of you, son. I am proud of you. Um, don't leave the job. I. You don't want to be lonely, but when it gets very cold at night with the snow, you want someone to cuddle up to on the the um, the fur blanket, don't you? You want someone to cuddle up and caress and fondle and you know have fun with in the igloo, don't you? That's what they want. They want to do that. So don't be so hard on you know. We've got a, the human the desire to procreate and 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 move forward is very strong. So. Yeah, please, please don't, don't, don't be so hard on on uh, procreation. So, so I think it's a great combo meal deal. I like it. I like the synergy. I like the dynamics of it. Uh, I must say, Amiga Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon. That's a fantastic watch. You buy that, done and dusted. Fantastic. I love the Explorer. Explorer one thirty six. I actually like the thirty six mil. I do. I don't agree with you. I'm not going to buy bullshit. I would prefer the 39. I think a great watch you might want to consider is a little bit semi cheaper but still a great watch would be a Tudor Black Bay. Black Bay 58! 58 because you've got the girly wrists, we've mentioned the smaller wrists. Black Bay 58 could be a great way to go. That could be a three piece hunger buster until you get the paddock. 
but you're not going to get the paddock because you're public servant. You don't want to fucking do that. Don't want to rock the boat. Don't want to rock the boat. Well, what the fuck do you spend your money on? Fur seals? Um, so that's what I would do. I'm just telling you, this is the advice from the pontiff. I've given the answer. Whether you follow it or not doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Keep the $50 coming in for each review. That's what I care about. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckwit friends. Uh, and I would say to you, put a few nasty comments down below, especially about fur seals and also the, the Eskimo chicks. You know, I'm just... In case you haven't read National Geographic, I'm just sharing those details with you. And I also would like if you could, if you could also understand without these paid reviews, I would die. I need paid reviews to keep me full time on the tubes. Otherwise, my, otherwise it's very fucking hard. Otherwise, I would die. I would die. So I just want to make this vid, tell you the truth. I'm Paul Pluto. This has been a paid review. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. Tell your fuckhead friends. And don't be afraid to leave nasty comments below. Okay, see you later, fucker Roonies. David SW. David SW. David SW. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice. David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have, for a long time, been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches? And I've got to be honest with you. The greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people to. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Rani at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex? For all the hot models? There's only one person I would recommend. David SW. David SW. David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs, they're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right, if you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Automaz Piguet, there's only one good source I would recommend. David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David SW. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury does Louis Vuitton. 
Guess what, guys? I've got my own little box back. It's come back and it looks beautiful. I missed him so much. I missed him. I missed my little Crawfit Treezor. And uh, I love him. I just love him to death. Love him to death. I love him, Louis Vuitton. Talk about me when I'm gone Oh honey, 